Hello and welcome to another reading from the book In Heavenly Places, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Unto One of the Least of These, November 14th. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Matthew 25 verse 40 Christ makes the necessities of his children his own personal interest. He regards any slight or neglect of his brethren as a slight to himself and a benefit conferred upon the humblest of them as if it were conferred upon himself. He says, I was unhungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and he gave me drink. I was a stranger, and he took me in. Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Verses 35 through 40. He whom providence has blessed with plenty, but who padlocks the door of his heart to keep back all generous impulses that would find expression in deeds of charity and kindness, will hear from the lips of the master the solemn words, Inasmuch as he did it not to one of the least of these, he did it not to me. Verse 45 Love of Christ cannot exist in the heart without a corresponding love for our fellow men. The physical and the spiritual health suffer from inaction. The idler in the vineyard, he who lives for self alone, is ever dissatisfied with himself and with others. The gloom and chill of discontent are mirrored upon his countenance. But he who is drawn out of and away from self, who, like his master, identifies himself with suffering humanity, will be softened and refined by the exercise of sympathy for others. Courtesy, patience, and gentleness will characterize such a one and will make his presence a continual joy and blessing. His countenance will shine with the luster of true benevolence. Those who labor hardest to secure their own happiness are miserable. Those who forget self in their interest for others have reflected back upon their own hearts the light and blessings they dispense to them. All that we have is given us on trust, yet when he rewards us with his approval, it is as though the merit were our own. Well done, good and faithful servant. It is not the greatness of the work which we do, but the love and fidelity with which we do it that wins the approval of the Savior. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book In Heavenly Places. God bless you.